Hey guys, Chris here with the Keyless Shop. Today we are demonstrating how to trace an SC1 Schleg key. As you see, Napa's got in his hands right there, your standard, most basic house key, with the new, the brand new M4 jaw for the mini condor. So this is pretty awesome. So first time we're doing this. So what you're gonna do is actually, if we start from the beginning, go back. First thing is you're gonna select key duplication. Now you're going to select universal key on the right, uh, left, I'm sorry, right there, yep. And we're going to do a standard single-sided key. Now it's saying you can use M1 or M4, so we're going to go ahead and try it with M4. Now you're going to select select clamp, because as you see it's selected to M1, we're going to change it to M4. So as you can see over here, we got the new, the brand new M4 job. And it's going to tell you as well how to stop the key. So as you can see, there's the little arrow stopping at the shoulder. So you're going to use the little shim and you're going to stop the key at the shoulder. Which is not that easy. I don't think we're using the right shim, but this is, this is actually the shim for the 3D Pro. But we need to see if X-Horse needs to send us the, sh the actual shims for the mini condor. Is that in there? Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and press key decode. So now it's decoding the ESC one quite interesting how it decodes it. Let's see if I can squeeze it. Okay, the light is kind of hard, but you can see it. Okay. So now it decodes it. It doesn't give you a key code, but it gives you the shape of the key right there, which is nice. All right, so now we're gonna put our uh, blank And again, we're gonna stop the key at the shoulder, as you can see with the little yellow arrow pointing to the shoulder. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right, so now the key is in place. Tighten the, uh, the key in place with this little lever right there. Now we're going to go ahead and select cut key. Now when we uh, selected it, I think the machine said it recommended the 1.5 cutter. Mm -hmm. But honestly with this machine you can use the 2.5. Oh, it's saying 2.5? But we normally just use the 2.5 cutter, which is the high security cutter. For even non high security keys, it works fine. It's just easier than having to replace cutters all the time. So now let's just compare the key to the original. Just put them back. Do they look, does it look correct? Mm -hmm. Wow, fantastic. There you have it. Mini Condor is now tracing house keys. Amazing.